All right, I'd like to show you how we're gonna find the Apollo 17 landing spot. So I'm back on Google Moon and I'm still looking at these three Maria. And right now I'm gonna look at the boundary between the Sea of Serenity and the Sea of Tranquility, right? And there's all these craters kind of right here, sort of in the middle, you see Mons Vitruvius. I'm gonna kind of make my way in there. And as I do, you see these higher resolution images pop up. So I'm gonna to head towards this Litro Valley, right? And I'll start to see these craters labeled like Camelot, Horatio, Sherlock, Trident. And it's near that Trident crater where we're gonna find the landing site. So I scroll in further, 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 and I can see it right here. This is the Apollo 17 landing site, the last place where humans ever walked on the moon as of today. And, um, there's the, again, the base of the lunar module. And again, you can see the tracks of the buggy that was driven all around the lunar surface. And it really covered a lot of ground. In fact, I think this might be the buggy right there um, because I, I bet they put it off to the side when they were launching back up to avoid any, you know, interference or anything. And uh, what I want to just highlight is, is how much ground they covered. Now, the images here it, it get blurry off to the side, but that they took their buggy all the way over past these craters, Camelot, Horatio. They made their way over to this kind of cliff, Lara. And even down right here, you can see this Nansen Apollo. Now, it looks totally black there. There's like shadows. Um, but this is like a, a, you know, a cliff that they went up to. But on the way back, um, they took kind of a higher path, okay? And they went past through this tortilla flat and they went past Shorty Crater. Now, because this was the first mission where there was a geologist on board, right? The geologist could notice things that the astronauts hadn't been prepared for. And it was at Shorty Crater that, that the uh, geologist astronaut on board noticed something unusual. And that's what we're gonna take a look at next. But I just want you to notice, I know it's hard to see because it's, it's a kind of a blurry image, but this is a pretty small crater. Um, you know, all things considered, Shorty Crater was just a little crater. And we're going to see a picture of the astronauts right next to it in just a second. But this is how we can find the Apollo 17 landing site.